everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Blood flow is super important for everything in your in your life. Why? Because blood contains all the nutrients and and uh, hormones to everything, right? So poor blood flow, poor problems, and it affects negatively affects your heart, your brain, your muscles, your skin, your organs, and also your erections for guys. So today I'm going to talk about the ten best supplements that are clinically proven to help blood flow and circulation. Go ahead and watch that video right now. Today I'm going to reveal the 10 best supplements for increasing blood flow to the whole body as well as the genitalia area, the penis, and so forth. And this is also important for women. Now the benefit is that you will help reduce a heart attack, a stroke, as well as improving your sex drive. Now, most experts agree that proper blood flow is a key factor in health, fitness, and longevity. Unfortunately, most people over the age of 30 suffer from some form of uh, poor blood flow. Now, typical symptoms are cold hands and feet, headaches, fatigue, memory problems, poor sleep, muscle loss, and also lowered libido for both men and women, causing erectile dysfunction in men. Now, there are a number of different ways to improve your blood flow, such as with diet, exercise, massage, stretching, and taking supplements, which is what I'm going to discuss in today's topic and video. And these, these are the 10 best vitamins, minerals, and herbs that are clinically proven to help improve your blood flow and also help strengthen your arteries and blood vessels. Now, first, I'll do a quick summary about these ingredients in today's video and also give you a link for additional details about each if you want all the, uh, the details and the clinical studies. So first, let's start with carnitine. Now, carnitine helps your body produce more energy and plays an important role in heart and brain function, uh, muscle movement, and also many other body processes. Now, it's especially important for improving your blood flow to your brain and heart. Now, most people have heard of a cheaper form, which is L-carnitine. However, it's important to note that there are different forms of carnitine, and the best ones are acetyl-L-carnitine, L-carnitine fumarate, and also glycine propionyl L-carnitine, which goes by GPLC. Now, a specific combination of these three forms has been clinically validated to improve blood flow. Again, I'll give you more details in a minute. Then we have magnesium. Now, most people just don't obtain adequate amounts of magnesium in their diet, and this is unfortunate because magnesium is one of the body's most important minerals. In fact, it's required as a cofactor in hundreds of enzymatic processes within the cells. Now, in regards to improving blood flow, what's important to note is that magnesium helps relax smooth muscles within the blood vessels, which then improves blood circulation. It also helps balance out calcium and thus prevents the calcium buildup in your arteries and vessels. Now, similar to carnitine, there are different forms of magnesium and each one has a specific function. Now, the optimal blend is magnesium glycinate chelate, magnesium citrate, magnesium aspartate, and also magnesium oxide. Now, the next one is one of my favorite supplements, and it's an amino acid called NAC or N-acetylcysteine. And then this helps detox your liver and kidney, which is awesome, removes heavy metals and toxins, and also boosts your immune system by increasing glutathione. And all this improves your circulation. Then we have natokinase, which is an enzyme that is extracted from a popular Japanese food called natto. Now, it's nature's very own natural blood thinner, which helps support healthy blood pressure and improve circulation. However, what's very special about it is that it fights fibrin buildup, which is basically like a fibrous mesh that reduces blood flow, which can over time obviously lead to heart failure and a heart attack. Then we have white willow extract. Now, did you know how aspirin was discovered first? It's actually a natural form of white willow extract, which is the original aspirin because it contains a natural ingredient called salicin. And that's very similar to aspirin, but without the usual negative side effects. Now, used in small dosages, it also helps naturally thin the blood and improves blood flow. It also acts as a natural anti-inflammatory. Then we have tea. Now, the antioxidants in tea promotes cardiovascular health and improves circulation. And this is true for both black and green tea only. Now, black tea improves blood vessel health, while green tea has been associated with lower rates of coronary artery disease. And both have been shown to improve blood circulation. Just make sure you get the extracted version, which is high in polyphenols and antioxidants. And then we have the vitamins. Now, finally, the three best vitamins for improving your blood flow are vitamin D3, which you should just be taking daily for overall health benefits in addition to better blood flow. 
Then we have vitamin E, and this helps reduce inflammation, also thins the blood naturally. In fact, in a clinical study, it was found that there was nearly a 50% reduction in heart attacks in people who take vitamin E daily. And then finally, we have K27, which is a special form of vitamin K, which actually takes out the excess calcium out of your blood vessels and puts it in your bones where it's needed. So there you have it, the best ingredients and supplements which are clinically proven to help improve your blood flow and circulation while also strengthening your vessels and making them more flexible and pliable to help reduce um, you know, heart attacks and strokes. However, what's important to note is that there is actually a special synergy when these ingredients are combined, basically more positive effects and benefits at a much lower dosage. And in the description area below this video, you can get more details about it. So you can basically save yourself time and lots of money while dramatically improving the benefits. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so now and make sure you click that bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are released. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.